Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and my first how-to video. So this is probably going to be extremely rocky, to say the least. Um, but I'm going to uh, hopefully show you guys um, what Crew Chief is and what it's all about. But also, uh, you know, how to install it, configure it, and hopefully, if things go well, get the voice recognition going. Um, there was a lot of videos out there uh, about different tools and things like that um, and I pieced a lot of it together to kind of get where I am I'm relatively new to sim racing which no doubt a lot of people watching this video are um, and you know it wasn't clear to me um, how to get um, a lot of this going and Especially the voice recognition thing, because there's a lot of videos out there for older uh, sim rigs um, that um, were confusing things. So anyway, we'll just jump straight into it. Um, <coughs> so what is Crew Chief? Uh, Crew Chief is a sim racer's best friend. Um, to put it bluntly, I've been using it for a while now, uh, and it saved my bacon more than once. And what I mean by that is, it's the spot of functionality um, that's built into it. I, you know, um, I'm obviously doing eye racing uh, is where I'm concentrating my sim um, career on, and. Um, there is a spotter built into it, um, into iRacing. That is okay, um, but Crew Chief is just a, a, another level, um, where you know cars coming up the inside, um, you know it's telling you the car's there, it's still there, it's not there, you know, so you don't crash as much. And in iRacing, that's very important because of obviously your safety rating um the more accidents you have the lower your safety rating will get and you need decent safety rating to rank up the classes um and get access to different cars and so on and so forth so it's very important and your know, crew chief has been a godsend from that perspective um and that was really what i used it for um now that i'm in bigger classes and i'm trying to get into the gt3 series where there's going to be refueling and so on going on it's now time to configure it for um, voice recognition um, because crew chief has built into it uh, a section around where you can give the crew chief a command to fuel you to the end so it works out all the fuel you've been burning throughout your first stint of the race calculates it and then when you come in it's only going to fill you up uh, to that point and that's the real feature that i'm now at the point that i'm trying to unlock which is why i decided to create this video um uh, you know and, and share that uh, information with you guys so that you know when you guys are in similar position to me it'll hopefully help you out and that's ultimately the goal everything's a bit raw with me on these youtube stuff um uh, i don't have a script i'm not a big youtuber uh i'm just documenting how i'm doing something uh hopefully help you guys out as it helps me you know as i learn um so that's what my plan is um anyway so uh to get crew chief the first thing you need to do is you need to go to thecrewchief.org um, and download it. Um, right at the top, once you hit the URL, um, I'll put a link in the description um, as well so that you guys have got it. Once you hit that URL, um, you'll just see here, download Crew Chief for PC. Uh, and all you do is you just click on that. Downloads the MSI, as you can see here in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, Click that once it's downloaded. Um, you may get your Windows Protect button um, to just get past this. Hit more info and hit run anyway. And that's going to kick off the installer. Um, once the installer's kicked off, uh, you know, just hit next. Um, accept the terms and the license agreement um, and hit next again. Change the location if you want to. Um, you know, you may have a second drive that you want to store all this stuff on. I don't think it takes up a ton of disk space. Um, so from my perspective, I'm just going to leave it where it is and hit next. 
um, and now it's ready to go. And it really is that quick and easy to install. Um, and off it goes, and there it is. Um, and now we hit launch crew chief. Click finish. And now it's going to pop up and it's going to run. Hopefully. If it worked. There you go, it's sitting in the background. It was down the bottom there. You can see the icon. Um, but yeah, this is crew chief. Um, so crew chief is here it's set up and so on and so forth um so there's a few things that uh, i need to check um these packs are updates um if they're green they need to be downloaded um so when you load up crew chief for the first time you'll probably have these they're grayed out for me because i've just recently upgraded <coughs> and I've just run through the installer for to help you guys out. Um, but yeah, I've just downloaded like these, and uh, once they're finished downloading, you're pretty much good to go. Next bit to do is to check your games that you're going to be playing on that you want Crew Chief to work on. So for me, it's iRacing, which is why iRacing is selected. I want to select the name. Now this is the name of what Crew Chief is going to call you. Um, so for me, it's James. Um, so he's, you know, every time Crew Chief wants to have a go at me because I'm doing something wrong, because he does that too, um, he'll say my name and say James. Um, bottom left, I've got my available controllers. Um, Fanatec always shows up as two for some reason. I think it's because one's the direct drive wheelbase and the other one is the steering wheel. It picks them up. And of course my keyboard. Um, different actions that you can assign keys to as well which is great to see and then of course your voice recognition now when you first go in this is going to be set to disabled all right for me what I'm going to do is I've tried using trigger word chief um, so the idea being that we, as you're driving along you say chief and then you can give them a command and he'll come back to you. What I found with the trigger word, at least with this latest version, and I don't know whether it's the version or my mic or whatever, but it just keeps triggering, even though I'm not saying the word chief. Um, so I'm going to use a button um, because it bleeps in your ear every time you call him. And if you're driving, it's, you just don't want that bleep going off every time. So for us, I'm going to, or at least for my setup and the, my preference, I'm going to hold a, uh, you know, press a button. Um, I'm going to use press and release button. Um, so now, now that I've done that, I need to assign a control. Right? So I've said press and release button, so now I need to tell it what button. Um, so I'm going to select my DD1 Fanatec wheel. Um, and I'm going to use uh, the talk to crew chief uh, is the command that I want to call. Um, and then I'm going to go and assign a control. And this is just going to be a button on my steering wheel. I'm going to press that. And now you can see DD1 button 11 is all set up. Okay. Um, I'm ready to go. So now that we've got that done, that's pretty much the config done for the basics, right? We can now get into a race. I can call crew chief. I can give them a ton of information. In here, under the property section, you literally have a mounting of different settings for different games that are in here. There's specific ones for iRacing. Um... Uh, different default settings. I'm not playing with these at this point. Um, you can. You can create different profiles. So I could create a profile for iRacing. And a different profile for say. A set of Corsa. Or F1. Or whatever. And assign those profiles to each. Um, I think if you're using. Um, a set of Corsa. Crew Chiefs are godsend because there's no spot spotting a set of Corsa. So, um, that for me is just, you know, brilliant uh, for a set of Corsa. But I'm, at the moment, I'm concentrating on iRacing and I'm just using the default settings here. 
Uh, but there's yeah, a long but distinguished list. As I learn more, I might do another video on this in a bit more detail um, around some of these settings, what they do and what they impact. You can just look on the forum and the help. It's pretty good. Um, it, 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 Crew Chief is widely used and it's a freebie download. So there's a lot of information out there to help people get it set up. But from our perspective, everything's good to go now from a racing standpoint. The one big feature that I'm looking for now whether we're in the GT freeze is the whole pit stop stuff. Um, so once I've done my first stint, I want to be able to go to chief fuel to the end and it's already configured um, the amount of fuel that it's going to put in my car to get me to the end of the race. Um, there is one thing with that for these got people who are listening to this video for that specific feature. Um, if you're in your first stint and you're in a lot of tow, you're going to burn less fuel, right? And if you pit and you don't have that same amount of tow in the second stint, you are going to run out of fuel. Okay, so I would recommend that you play around with it a little bit in that if you do tell Crew Chief to fuel you to the end, add a few litres to give you some breathing room. Um, or just be mindful of that. If you were in a lot of tow in that first, then you probably want to tweak it a little bit. If you wasn't, then fine. Um, but yeah, there we pretty much have it on that. Another link that I've got for you that will help. Someone has kindly spent a lot of time writing out a lot of the different commands that Crew Chief will accept. Not all of these will work with all games, right? Um, but it can um, for certain games. There are some specific ones that are iRacing only. You can see them down here in the bottom, especially this whole entire pit stop section, pretty much, is iRacing only. Um, this is the one that, you know, the real command that I'm after, which is why I'm now enabling voice commands, and I hadn't been previously. Um, so, yeah, let's just uh, see if our configuration has worked, hey? All right. Uh, so if we start the application, radio check. I should need to push my button. How long's left? Yeah, wrong command. That's probably not one. Um, so you can see here he was listening. I said the wrong thing there. Yeah, stopping speech recognition. We need to pick one uh, from this list that will help. Uh, spot. Let's just use spot. See what that gives us, huh? So, press the button. Spot. Okay, I'll spot. You see, if he acknowledges it, don't spot. Okay, no spotter calls. And there you have it. So, obviously, when you're in the race, you can check the full status. He will tell you brake temps, tyre temps, tyre wear, damage report on the car, um, if needed. Uh, your gaps, your sector times, gaps to the car ahead, gaps to the car behind, um, and so on and so forth. And that is pretty much it, right? Um, I was surprised at how simple it was, but also surprised about how many videos were out there for setting this up that didn't have a lot of this. The one thing that I would say as well is I am using Windows 10. Windows 10 has voice recognition built into it by default. If you're on Windows 8 or before, you're going to need to download the voice recognition software for the speech to work. Um, 
to do that all you need to really do is if you look here this is the Windows speech recognition app that comes in built in to the to the app um, it, you know in as part of Windows you basically in Windows 8 it's not there by default um, it is in Windows 10 so if you're on Windows 8 or prior versions you're going to need to download this simple Google search you should be able to find it and get it installed on your application once that's installed then you'll be able to configure the voice recognition on the um, crew chief there are other videos out there that detail that um, for you know Windows 8 machines and before um, that will be able to help you and then you can jump back to this video for the actual config stuff but if you want of course um, but yeah in essence that's how you get it up and running that's how you get it going um, I would highly recommend this this crew chief is uh, I switch on my PC it is the first thing I switch on and the last thing I switch off when I'm sim racing now um, and uh, would highly recommend it to anyone um, in any form of game where it supports it um, not necessarily iRacing um, like I said I'll copy the links um, for uh, the forums um, and obviously the thread for the voice command in the comments below um, I hope some of you found it useful um, and, and helpful um, and of course if I have missed anything or um, anything you would like to see more about uh, you know leave a comment um, and I would appreciate a like and uh, maybe a subscription if you want um, but no obligation <laughs> um, otherwise um, I also have my twitch channel in the comments below um, as I do like to stream racing I'm by no means a driving god uh, I'm just uh, you know guy at home likes cars just having some fun um, I'm not setting the world alight um, but yeah just uh, just good for a laugh um, and hopefully I'll do more of these videos in the future anyway thank you all for watching um, hopefully like I said it's helpful and uh, yeah catch up with you all soon cheers